Hello, Gemini. Um, so we're here today to do your May 2018 general and or love forecast. Yes. All right. So before we get started, Gemini, and as we're shuffling, I would like to, first of all, thank you so much. <laughs> um, this sounds so silly, but like last month's video got somewhere in the neighborhood, last I checked, was around 82,000 views. Um, that's huge, guys. That's huge for somebody like me. I, I could not be more grateful um, for all of your support, your likes, your shares, your subscribes. Thank you so, so very much. Um, all of the new subscribers to the channel, welcome. I don't know how this happened. I mean, it literally just happened overnight, but it's been, um, I, I, I'm not going to lie, I cried. I, I actually kind of had to regain my composure <laughs> before getting on here to film a little bit because I cried thinking about it. Um, you guys are awesome. You're awesome. And um, I couldn't be more grateful to have each and every one of you here, okay? Um, so thank you. All right, guys, so we're headed into May, right? Venus is going into our sign. Yay. That's the planet of love. Um, people are going to be attracted to you, okay? You might be thinking about <clears throat> maybe doing something for yourself, you know? A new haircut, maybe some new clothes. Um, I don't know. Just something nice, right? But in actuality, you really don't have to do anything. Because, because Venus is here, you're radiant, okay? Not like Geminis are not radiant already. <laughs> Being a Gemini myself, I'm not, no, I'm just kidding. I totally am not like that. But you know what I'm saying? It's, you know, Geminis just embrace or have this attractive quality about them. And I think it's more, probably because we are, so loving, you know, communicative, friendly, right? <clears throat> we're nice. We are. We're wonderful people. You know that. I know that, right? A lot of the world hates Geminis, and that's fine. If they hate, let them hate. Who cares? Not our problem. It's theirs, right? They're the ones missing out. <clears throat> okay. So anyway, Venus coming into our sign. Big thing, all right? Um... Now, that being said, Gemini, there's probably, especially basing it off of last month's reading, a couple of people will be coming your way. <clears throat> Maybe opportunities. I'm going to adjust my camera. It's the first May reading, so i got to get the angle straight. Okay. A couple of people coming your way. Maybe, you know, new people. Um, people coming out of the woodwork, people coming from the past, you know, things like that. Um, people that you <clears throat> may have, you know, walked away from may all of a sudden be making a greater effort to be in your life, okay? And that's all part of our shift, right? Because we are shifting. We know that. <clears throat> it's taking forever. A lot of hard work. But we're getting there. You know, and we will get there. Okay, so if you're new to my channel and you don't know how I do my spreads, for the general readings, it is a nine card spread, okay? Three cards for your recent past, three for your present, three for your near future. <clears throat> I also clarify with the after tarot, and I'm going to pull a Romance Angel Oracle card by Dorian Virtue, and maybe one of my, I got the Live Vampire deck. <clears throat> I got that one. I, I got a Cinco de Mayo deck. It's super cute. I'll show you guys when I decide which kind of like ones that I want to pull later. We'll see how far we get, okay? But anyway, um, wow. Just want to show you that again. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Gemini. Uh, it's almost, it's almost, almost time. Gemini season is right around the corner. All right, you guys ready? rambled on long enough. <laughs> okay, so recent past for Gemini, May 2018, recent past, recent past. 
And near future. Oh my goodness. Bottom of the deck would be the Five of Swords reversed. Okay? Five of Swords reversed is the end of conflict. Okay? So, major, major conflict within your life. All right? Um, that's coming to an end. The battle's over. We're going away from that. This is not what Gemini likes to do. You know, we don't like to fight. We don't like to argue. We don't like to be conflicted. We're one of our best qualities, I think, as Gemini's is that we are very decisive. We know when to pull the plug on a situation. We know when to move forward. We know when to be patient. You know, we're good at that. Um, so whatever's been kind of giving you that conflict or that conflicted feeling in your life, Gemini. That ends, okay? Crowning, crowning card for the month. All right, let's talk about your recent past. And like I said, we'll clarify. We have the Eight of Wands reversed, okay? So, it's followed by the Knight of Cups reversed and the Eight of Pentacles, all right? If we're talking about a love relationship here, Gemini, with the Eight of Wands reversed. When we see this in the upright, this is like Cupid's arrows, okay? Flying in, madly in love, okay? But this Knight of Cups, who we're dealing with, okay? This person, this knight in shining armor, is hesitant. They just are, you know? They're indecisive. Maybe they come in and out leave a situation. This could also be an opportunity, like a job opportunity that you thought was a, a definite thing. You know, you had it, you had it in the bag, and you were going to get it. And it didn't come through, you know. But what does Gemini do when this situation appears, right? We don't just sit around stagnant and cry about it for months on end. No. We get to work. Okay? So there's our Eight of Pentacles. We work on it. So either we put the effort into turning these two cards around, into making that situation right, making it what we want it to be, okay, making it what it should be, what we know it should be, or we stop focusing on it. You know, the Knight of Cups, Cups are love and emotion and the Tarot, as you guys know. Um, that Knight starts... Drawing back, we say, okay, well, you know, honey, I'm a Gemini. I got better things to do. <laughs> I really, really do. I, I, you know, I got things I need to focus on, and that is my pentacles. All right? So, <clears throat> we focus on that. Either we focus on putting more effort into fixing this situation, or we focus on increasing our pentacles. Yeah? You know? Because ain't nobody got time for this indecisiveness. Okay, so then we go into the present. Knight of Swords reversed, Six of Swords upright, and the World card. Okay, so some of you guys are dealing with, we have all the signs on the table. So we have Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But these Knights are significant, okay? So we have the Knight of Swords reversed. This is an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And this could represent your energy, or you could be dealing with someone who is a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, okay? Now, when we see the Knight of Swords in the upright, we think, okay, things are moving forward, and they're moving forward positively, right? Things are going fast. It's, it's like we like it, okay? Geminis like that. We don't sit around and get stagnant and, you know, wait for, you know, you know, ever and you know what I mean? It's not that it's not that we're not patient, you know, for the right situations and the right people, but we know when to draw the line. Okay? We know when to say enough's enough. All right? We're not waiting around anymore. So when this knight of swords comes in and he's reversed, we go, 
Uh, sorry about your luck, buddy, but um, <laughs> I'm still in the calmer water, okay? With the Six of Swords. Out. I'm peacing out, okay? Because A, I'm not dealing with conflict. Five of Swords reversed. B, I don't deal with stagnation either. Okay? Present. The world. Some of you guys, it is a completion of a cycle, all right? So you've decided to move on from this stagnant energy, this wishy-washy, yeah, maybe, I don't know, and oh, you know, but uh, maybe we could go forward, but it's just, mm, uh, you know, we, we just don't have time to deal with that, right? It's like make a decision. There's a phrase that I don't want to say on air because it's kind of vulgar, but it's like, shit, or get off the pot, you know? We, got, we have stuff to do. Geminis have lives to live. We live lives in our lives in technicolor, you know? We're, we're out there. We're meeting people. We're having fun. We've got a great, uncanny ability to have this life that others envy, you know, to a degree. Because we, we are able to do so much and accomplish so much. But what we don't have time for is this pulling us back, okay? If you're not sure of what you want to do, it's no problem. I'm just going to bounce out, you know? Holler at me when you figure it out. I might be available. I'm not, I'm not sure, you know? And like I said, this could be love. This could be a work, you know? Like maybe... Things are supposed to pan out for you. You're working really hard for it with work. And it just, it's just not, you know, these promises that people keep making you that things are going to get better. They're going to promote you. They're going to give you a raise. They're going to hire more support so that you, you're not having to struggle so hard. All of that, it's like, but it's, you're saying these words, you're not doing the thing. And that's what Geminis do is the thing, Right. We're not just words. Yes, we are communication, ruled by Mer Mercury, swords in the tarot. All right, we're probably one of the best communicators you could possibly come across, truly. You know, we know exactly how to express ourselves, our emotions, our feelings. Um, everybody kind of knows where Gemini stands, right? Because we don't hide it. We have nothing to hide, <laughs> you know? But the thing is, if you're not prepared to move forward with Gemini, Gemini will move forward without you, okay? And that's how it works. And what do we move into? The world, okay? So it's every single thing at our disposal, everything, right? We've got all the elements here. We have everything. Some of us are traveling. I mean... You know, it's like, hey, do you want to go on this trip with me? No, or you can't figure it out or decide, well, F it. I'm just going to book the flight. You know, it's that kind of thing. The world is here. I mean, the world is at your fingertips, Gemini. And I think that instead of being stagnant, right, and, and trying to succumb to this emotional, um, <clears throat> connection that we have with someone or something or some place, you know, instead of being stagnant and waiting for them to make that decision on what the right thing to do is, Gemini just decides to do what they want to do, you know, to do what they know is going to bring them happiness and fulfillment and, and to move forward. Okay. And that's where we're at. Now, Going into the near future, again, four swords reversed, all right? The end of stagnation. We're not stagnant. We don't sit here like this. Who is that? That ain't Gemini. No. The card's reversed, okay? We pick ourselves up, and we move, all right? We go. We're headed for it. We, we, we know what we want, eye on the prize, and I am out of here, Okay? But then what do we get? The Nine of Cups. That's our wish, okay? This is a wish fulfilled. Wish fulfillment comes through. Could also be an emotional offer, guys. But whatever it is, 
Gemini, by picking yourself up and moving on from the situation that is so stagnant and stale, you get your wish. The wishes become granted. Why? We'll see when we clarify, okay? Maybe that person or that thing decides they don't want to lose Gemini. You know, they get clarity on the situation, and you're like, great, let's boogie freaking woogie. You know, let's get out of here. We, we have the world to see and do and feel and explore. We, we have things to, our lives to live, right? So maybe that's the wish. Or maybe, for some of you, we leave it behind, right? We leave that, that person, place, or thing stuck in stagnation. And by doing that, these opportunities arise. Wishes fulfilled. The world at our fingertips. Gemini does not stay stagnant. Now do we? No, we don't. Okay? There's one thing I need to talk about, guys. And it's letting go. All right? When we see Four of Pentacles upright, what do we see? We see somebody holding on to something so tightly. Holding on for dear life. Look, he's got those pentacles beneath his feet, gripped in his arms, one in his head. He's like, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch this situation, don't. But where are we? We're free. We're free of the things that don't serve us anymore. Okay? We figure out in May how to let that go. Because if you ain't with us, that's on you. <laughs> Sorry about your luck, you know. I'm not going to say you're against us because nobody's, you know, we're very forgiving people. We're open. We're honest. We're accepting of everybody. We're not shutting you out. But the thing is, we're not going to sit around and wait for your ass forever either. Okay? Let's clarify. <clears throat> Gemini, May 2018, clarifying the Eight of Wands reversed, please. May 2018, clarifying the Eight of Wands reversed. <laughs> For some of you guys, a lot of you guys, that's the Ten of Cups, okay? Um, yep, so it's that person, place, or thing that is going to bring you to this spot. Okay, we have home, family, emotional fulfillment, love, so much love, right? That thing is not ready for Gemini, okay? Knight of Cups reversed. Why is the Knight of Cups reversed? I, did I not say Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? Okay. Now, either you're dealing with one of those types of people, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or you decided to take a stand against this wishy-washy behavior. It's like, I want to be here. I'm here. I'm here to save you, Gemini. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Not save you. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm here. You're knight in shining armor. But it's like, oh, wait a minute. Pump the brakes. Reverse the horse. You know, brakes up on the horse, whatever the hell that is. Pull the reins, <laughs> you know. And then you're like, <laughs> funny. Not funny, actually. You know, you get yourself together and you take that stand and you go, I'm not, I'm not going to sit around and wait for this anymore. Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Gemini for May 2018? Well, that one just jumped out, didn't it? Because we take a pause. This is four swords up right now. We take a pause and we reflect. What do I really want to put my effort into? What do I want to work on? You know, what is actually worth my very valuable time? You know, we have to take a minute to think about this shit. Because, it, I mean, what is? Bullshit games? No, we don't play that. You know, we're very clear on what we want and where we're going, all right? 
eye on the prize, Gemini. So we take a second, pause and reflect. We're like, all right, where do I need to dedicate my hard work, my energy, and my efforts? Okay, and we figure it out in May. Knight of Swords, reversed. All right, so Knight of Swords reversed in Gemini's present for May 2018. <clears throat> Ooh, page of wands reversed. Okay, so you guys, it's fire. Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, again. But what I was saying, signs are irrelevant, okay? Page of wands, you're waiting for this passionate message. It's like, yes, you got the job. Yes, we're going to support you fully at work. Yes, you know, whatever your, your ships that you've been waiting for to come in, you're waiting for that, right? But... That page is reversed, you know? A page is a messenger. I, I ain't hearing shit. Y'all heard shit? I ain't heard shit. You know? Yes, I'm in love with you. Yes, I want to move forward. I want to take this relationship to the next level. It's not happening. It's just not coming through. Got the page and the night reversed, okay? So this is passion. That's fire. Where the hell is it? You know? So what does Gemini do? You know, six of swords, and we sail away. Oh, bam. We take control of the situation, Gemini. We have the emperor sending you guys dealing with an Aries. Um, either we're sailing off, and an Aries comes in, or we take charge of this situation, okay? For, for those of you that this is work-related, this is a new boss who's upright, who's not wishy-washy, making promises that they can't keep. In love or any other aspect, this is you taking charge. Or you move on, you know? You move on to somebody who's an emperor because what are we? The empress, right? We got our shit together. We know what we're freaking doing. We support the home, the family. We bust our butts to make a life happen that we want. And who do we deserve? A partner just like us, right? So that's what we seek. The world card. Why is the world card here for Gemini? May 2018. The world card for Gemini, May 2018. Oh, wow. Wow. Interesting. I just said her name and she just came out, but she's reversed, okay? So for some of you guys, this is definitely a breakup. You might be leaving, like I said, a job. Okay, I'm pulling out like they came out. A job, okay? An Aries. Just a predominant figure in your life, okay? You might be turning your back on that because this predominant figure that once you say, I'm out, I'm leaving, all of a sudden, predominant figure says, no, 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 now I'm here for you. Now, 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 I, I know what I want. I know what I want to do, you know. But by that time, by the time that happens, Gemini, we've already made our decision, right? I am not your empress. <laughs> I am not committing to this situation because it's just been too much. Too much indecisiveness. Too much up and down. I've tolerated as much as I am willing to tolerate. I won't tolerate anymore. So then you go, mm-mm. You cut them off. You block them. You get a new job, a better job, that pays more money with the world. For some of you guys, it's relocating. You know, you move to a different place. You're just like, whatever. You know, you couldn't be the emperor I wanted you to be until I left. Until I left the situation, then you come around as the emperor? No. You know? Four swords reversed in the near future. Why is the four swords reversed in the near future? Let's see. We need to heal. Some of you guys are dealing with a Sagittarius, yes. But the real energy here is that and I think this is message from Spirit, Gemini. You know, try not to push 
too far and too hard because what we are coming out of is a place of, how do I put this? We as Geminis have been through the ringer. And when I say the ringer, you guys know exactly what I mean. It is the ringer, right? Um, good things are happening for us, but it's almost like the universe is like dangling like a, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like, oh, we got a good thing for you. And they throw it at you a little bit, but it's on a, like a fishing pole, you know, <laughs> reel it back in and you chase it. You're like, oh, but wait, 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 I really like that. You know, I, I like it. I want that. That Yeah, that's, that's what I've been looking for. And it's like, <laughs> not yet. You know? So the, the message here with the Four of Swords reversed and Temperance reversed is that this, this situation here, you know, you thought, you, I mean, you, you were like this close. This close. You know, is it over? Probably not. But here's the thing, Gemini, you have to take care of yourself, you know, but don't go so balls to the wall, all right, that you forget that we're still in this state, all right? We're still healing from coming through that bringer stage. Yes, we've learned our lessons. Yes, you know, we know we know about relationships now. We know where we've made mistakes. We know what to do going forward. We know uh, yes, yes, yes. The universe taught all of us everything, you know, about that kind of stuff, right? And and a lot of us have not been rewarded yet. There's been teasers. It's like a teaser of a reward, but it's not fully there yet, you know? It's like one more test. You just have to go through this final test, you know, to figure out what this is. Your wish being fulfilled in May. What is that, Gemini? What does that mean to you? <laughs> we have to clarify twice because it's two nines, all right? So we're almost at the end of a cycle, but here's the thing. I think that the, okay, so this is the after tarot. This is the Nine of Swords. For those of you familiar with tarot, you'll know that the Nine of Swords indicates anxiety, depression, grief, sleepless nights, um, worry, stress, those types of things, okay? Why would that come out with this card? I'll tell you why. Are you ready for this, Gemini? Are you ready for this? I mean, we got really, really used to being on our own, right? We got real used to handling matters with no support. We're real used to it, you know? And when this comes in, what? what? You know? Do I mean, do we even know how to how to function if a, a wish is granted because that to us is like foreign, right? Are you stressed out about it? Maybe you're walking away because you feel so strongly about a situation, a job, a love offer, an opportunity, a relationship, whatever. You're like, this can't possibly be happening. You feel like you're going to wake up from the dream. It's like those dreams when you win the lottery, you know? Or that something, the dream is so awesome. And like you wake up and you're super upset. You're like, man, that was so great. Why can't that just be real, you know? But it's actual life, Gemini. And that's what's happening in May. Is that that lottery dream, That that's what's happening. And it freaks you the hell out. Okay? But here's the gig. You have to slay that dragon. You fight that demon, okay? Because that's all it is. This is our energy as swords, and this is our mental prison that we place ourselves in. But look at this. He has a sword. 
yeah, you know what, anxiety? You can come after me. That's cool. I'm going to cut you out. I'm going to cut you. That That's about to be a lizard steak. <laughs> that's disgusting. No, it's not because some people do eat iguanas, but you know what I'm saying? So Gemini. Oh, my God. All right. Four swords reversed. I'm sorry, guys. I had to. We had to lighten the mood a little bit. It was getting real serious, okay? Four of swords reversed. <laughs> what is Gemini letting go of in the month of May 2018? What are we releasing? <laughs> Gosh, I'm going to be laughing about that all night now. Hold on. Ooh, let me regain my composure. Okay. What is Gemini letting go of in May 2018? Ooh. Ooh, okay. Let's talk about it. King of Pentacles. All right. Some of you guys have. Um, some of you guys. This is a light, light-hearted kind of message. Okay. There may be something um, you've been saving up for, and now you're buying, and you're like straight up like a king. Like you walk in the car dealership, and you're like, "Yeah, I'll take that one." Whatever your car is, you know. I know what I'm looking at, and it's, like, so mo modest. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you because you guys will laugh at me. Anyway, um, you're either that or you're letting go of the King of Pentacles. can be a whole lot of things, guys. Virgo, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. The need for financial stability that's so strong that it gives you this, you know. For some of you guys, this... Because this is coming in, followed by this, this means the end of money worries. You might be getting a new job where your salary significantly increases. You might be starting a new venture. You might be getting a windfall, okay? But we're letting go of this King of Pentacles energy where we're holding on to things so tightly and we're trying to be so freaking grounded all the time you know, because that's what the world wants, right? The world wants everybody to be normal and, you know, like, oh my gosh, like super stable and super, you know, reliable and blah, 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 blah. Well, guess what? Gemini is Gemini. We are an air sign. We are fun. We are spontaneous, Gemini. Don't lose that. Maybe you've been trying not to be spontaneous. You've been trying super duper duper hard, you know, to be in bed at 9 o'clock every single night and be on a regimented schedule and do the best you can at work. And blah, blah, blah. What the hell? I mean, what about the ridiculousness in our lives that we love so much? You know? What about that? I'm not saying to go be reckless. But what I'm saying is, if you need to let this go, let it go. Be you. Just be you. Because Gemini, the bottom line is that the world loves you. And you know it. <laughs> you know I'm not just talking. It's the truth, okay? The world would not be the same place without Geminis. How far? I am 33 minutes in. Y'all are, oh my gosh. Look at me. I got a Libra and Aquarius tonight. Oh. All right. One love oracle card. Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, May 2018, please. Gemini, Gemini, May 2018. Flirt. Okay, extend your light, hearted energy to others. That's what I'm saying. You're trying to be this person. Let it go. You are the flirt, Gemini. You're Gemini. <laughs> That's what we do best, okay? Be lighthearted about it. If people can't get off their butt, they can't get off their butt, you know? We, we got a life to live. We do. We got to move forward, okay? I have no idea what I'm going to call this video, but I do appreciate you watching it. <laughs> Thank you guys again so much. If you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. I would absolutely love to have you here. To those who are currently subscribed or anybody that views this video, Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Your likes, shares, comments, subscribes have changed my entire life. And I could not be more grateful. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you're interested in a personal reading, I am offering those. 
as well. And you can find me at um, trustintruthtarot at gmail.com. Please don't go on my website right now, y'all. I got to, like, I have to, I have to um, fix it. The pricing structure changed a little bit. It did not go up. It just got even across the board. Like, I just made it really clean and clear and concise because it was confusing. And I didn't know what I was doing when I set this up a year ago. By the way, it's my one-year anniversary on YouTube. So to every single person that has ever viewed one of my videos, I thank you so much for making this past year one of the best of my life. And I'm going to cry now, so I'm going to click off this video. But I honestly, um, I have to extend you guys a sincere, my sincerest gratitude because you guys have been um, life-changing for me. You changed my whole life, so thank you so much in so many good ways. I can't, I can't explain it to you, and I can't believe how, um, how many friends I've made. A and B. Sorry, I am like a water sign right now. What the hell? Um, <laughs> um, but B, um, you know how, um, what you guys are doing for me and my daughter. It, the the personal readings, the support on my channel. Um, you guys have changed our lives. Thank you. All right, guys. Have a wonderful month of May. I'm going to go boohoo cry for a second and get on to the rest of the air signs. I love you all, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.